great to be back in Stockholm, re-seeing our old colleagues and partners from around the world uh, to convene here to share ideas on this important topic of valuing water. I think this is a really pivotal year for groundwater. There's a lot more awareness around about how important it is, how it provides at least 50% of the drinking water worldwide, uh, nearly that amount of irrigation water. And if we don't take care of it, we're all going to suffer. Climate change putting additional pressure on surface water, which means that you know, by default, then uh, the attention will be even more on, on uh, groundwater. Uh, so unless there are frameworks, agreements, processes to address uh, these shared resources, there is a risk of conflict and lost development opportunity. I'm really inspired and convinced that we need to collect more evidence uh, to make a strong case of why water is central for the development agenda. I'm here at the Stockholm World Water Week to represent the voice of the young people. From local level all the way to the highest level, we need young people to be included in the discussions, in the negotiations for our future. The importance of inclusion agenda is something that we have put on the table. We would like our water security and sanitation program to be directly benefiting the women and girls around the world. But increasingly, women playing a very important role as part of the broader water security and sanitation agenda, not just as beneficiaries, but as decision makers, as leaders of uh, water security and sanitation work around the world. Generally, I would say the audience was quite keen to see that the World Bank was getting more involved in terms of innovations in the water sector. Basically, we are looking at how we can bring innovations into implementation and knowledge transfer with respect to helping people to learn more about the new innovations that are emerging in the sector and that can help us with achieving many of the challenges that we still face. And this is very important because we keep learning from implementation of our studies and reports. So today at CIWI, we launched this new report at the World Bank booth. So the PIR report addresses the main challenges in water supply and sanitation services. And those challenges come, as PIR says it, from the policies, institutions and regulatory system. It's about proposing how to create a system of incentives to improve service delivery. Unless we build strong water management and delivery institutions, we're not going to be able to achieve the sustainable development goals, let alone sustain agriculture, sustain communities in the long run. I'm seeing on the world stage an incredible upswing in recognition that water is critically important to the future economic and real survival of, um, of many countries. We need action, and we need action now, not just for my generation, but for the generation to come. The future of the world depends on it.